Now that I've shown the basics of creating RM sets, I want to show some of the details that you have control over. So I'm going to start by editing this ultimate limit state moment RM set. If I go to the elements and nodes tab, you can see that when I added the uh, elements of the group main girder, these all three boxes, uh, element begin, element end, and intermediate element positions were checked. And that means that in the plot and also in the reports and the Excel files, uh, it will have results at the beginning and end of each one of the elements. If I plot this to file, you can see that this actually sometimes leads to uh, what look like sort of kinks in the end or at the places where the elements are connected. Since um, there are result values for the end of each element and at the beginning of the element, which might be different. However, if I were to change this, uncheck element end and intermediate position and modify, and now you'll see a B here indicating that just the beginning uh, is going to be plotted or reported. And I plot this, you can see uh, a much smoother curve now. And this is because at oh, the only the results at the beginning of each element are shown, and then a straight line is drawn between there and the results at the beginning of the next element instead of a straight line drawn between the beginning and the end of each element. Another one of the things you have control over um, is on the general tab um, how the elements are ordered. Uh, and it's always default checked that the list is elements not sorted. Um, and this is not a problem in the case that we had uh, because the elements of our main girder uh, go from 101 to 135 so they're already kind of in order but if I were to change this to say the elements of pier 3 and then the elements of pier 2 and I'll insert that after I'll plot this real quick to show you what it looks like not sorted you'll see the elements of pier 3 are 1301 to 1304 and they're shown right next to 1201 to 1204 which is peer 2 and that's because they haven't been sorted. If I go back to the general tab now and change this to list rows uh, sorting by ascending numbers now when I plot this to file we'll see it's, it finds the lowest number and starts plotting up from the lowest number. So now it starts at 1201 and goes to 1204 and then shows 1301 to 1304. Um, that would be the same result basically as just inputting peer 2 and then peer 3 in this list up here. Um, similarly you can sort the elements by descending numbers. Another thing you can do is check list rows load cases. Now when I plot this to file, it's going to tell me that uh, a lot of uh, plot files may be created. And I'll show exactly what happens when this is done. Now in the plot, it will show each one of the results that we had listed, which were uh, the moment capacity at the minimum moment and the moment demand at the minimum moment and then the maximum capacity and maximum positive demand. And right now, it's showing this just for element uh, 1301 at the beginning, which can be seen down here. Up here, several plots have been created, so we can hit the next button, choose next file of the file list. And what it actually does, if you look down here now, is now it's showing the results at element 1301 at the end we keep scrolling through here a little further you can see these values changing and also now we're at element 1203 beginning and so forth so these are just different ways to view things it'll make the report files look different as well if I report the file for this it will show um, each element now and then the results and then the next element or the same element at the end rather and the results